temperatures are climbing. That's right. We're heading into a heat wave, and our Candace Crone is live in Woodland Hills, where it's going to be really hot today. Candace, good morning. Good morning, Suzanne. It really is. I actually just spoke to a group of hikers who told me that they're hitting the trails here at Serrania Park early before it gets too hot as a valley. Some parts of it could see triple digit temperatures. Here's some video. It's going to be a hot one all across Southern California. If you live in the Antelope Valley, be extra careful as an excessive heat warning will be in effect and temperatures could climb 20 degrees higher than normal. With the heat also comes an increased risk of heat related illnesses. So make sure to stay hydrated if you can stay in an air conditioned room and out of the sun and check up on the elderly. Take extra precaution also if you work outdoors. Now, if you do need a place to cool down, the county is opening cooling centers from noon to 6 p.m. And the centers will operate under social distancing guidelines and other uh, safety policies due to the pandemic. Temperatures are also expected to soar here in the San Fernando Valley with Woodland Hills to top out at 96 degrees today. I just spoke to a walker who says that she wants to get her exercise in now and then spend the afternoon indoors. My dogs love it. I'm up early and I like to get my five miles in before the heat comes and I'm a teacher so I'm just this is the time I usually get up to go to work. So now I just come to the park with the doggies before I have to go home and work. I should also mention at last check, Eaton Canyon, a popular place where a lot of people like to go, still closed at last check, but county officials expected to decide today whether or not to reopen. That's after a lot of people just flocked there and just kind of overcrowded uh, the canyon this weekend. So again, we're expecting uh, to learn if that trail will reopen today. DeMarco and Suzanne, that's the latest. I'll send it back to you guys. Thank you, Kenda.